guys, look how beautiful Tarlin is. Look at it, you've got these old buildings with spires and somewhere in the distance over there. And you've got these kind of buildings. It's really beautiful. Oh, look at these ones as well. They're beautiful too. There you go, the beautiful buildings of Tarlin. But I've looked everywhere and I can't find anything even remotely Soviet. They've got rid of it all or it was never built, I don't know. But I've heard there's one thing down by the banks, the shores of the, um, the Baltic Sea. So um, let's go and check it out. Some monstrous, brutalist architecture. Let's go and have a look. Wow, even their doorways are cool. It's a bit, it's a bit treacherous underfoot, but we're gonna make it. Down to the Baltic. Do you know, this will be my first time ever seeing the Baltic Sea. So um, let's do it together. Let's lose our Baltic virginity together. The question is, how the hell do you get down to the Baltic Sea? <laughs> Where the hell is the Baltic Sea? I reckon we go this way. Let's see. Check out this place I've just discovered on our way to the Baltic. It says in this house once lived Mr. Dostoyevsky. I presume that's the Mr. Dostoyevsky. There can't be many of them. Ah, that's where he was. He was probably on that balcony once, like thinking about some book that he was writing up there. I don't know. Wow. Onwards we go to the Baltic. Estonian snowmen, check them out. I like it. Give them a couple of eyes. Give them a mouth. Looks just like Harold Balder. Wow. How the hell do people live in this country if it's like this for half the year? What a nightmare. Wow, oh, it's over there. I think I see the Soviet structure. Well, I haven't seen the Baltic yet. But I have found what I think is the beginning of the brutal Soviet structure. These are the stairs to it. Let's get up them. All right, I've got a question for you guys. Which do you prefer? You've got old Tarlin, Soviet Tarlin, new Tarlin. Wow, who else is excited? Just me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Blood. Oh, oh my God, oh my God. I pulled a hamstring. I pulled a fucking hamstring. Ah, oh, I pulled a hamstring on the Soviet steps. Oh fuck, my hamstring's gone. Ah, oh, oh, I'm not joking. Ah, oh, my ham, fucking hell. Ah, oh, there's people watching me. I've pulled my hamstring. Nothing, nothing will stop me. Nothing will stop me from getting to the Baltic. Uh, oh. Oh, I feel like I'm climbing bloody K2. Oh, almost there. Almost there. Oh, we made it. Oh, we made it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, check it out. Check it out. It's the Baltic Sea. It's the Baltic Sea. We made it. The Baltic Sea. How awesome, my first time. Listen, guys, why did the Soviets build this big, huge building monstrosity down by the shores of the Baltic Sea? I'll tell you, it's for the Moscow 1980 Olympics. And you may be thinking, why would they build something for the Moscow Olympics so far from Moscow here on the sea? Makes no sense, right? Well, it does. When you think that every Olympic Games must have a sailing event. And so there's obviously no sea in Moscow. And so they built this building to host to host the Moscow Olympics. And out there, you had little sailboats. Sailing for gold and silver and bronze, whatever. Anyway, that's it. I'm glad that we found this, the Soviet monstrosity of Tallinn. Tallinn's most brutal building. I'm going home. I'm absolutely destroyed. It's probably gonna be the last daily vlog for a long time. See you later. Hiya.